Hey friends, welcome to our weekly update. We have a lot of announcements, so hold tight and see what's coming up. Hey everyone, Joseph Aiken here for another edition of your weekly updates, right? Where we talk about what this, this Sunday sermon will be about. We are walking through this sermon ser series called A Throne, A Scroll, and a Limb, Unlocking Revelation. And we're walking into chapter five where, where we'll be discussing what our worship or where our worship should be pointed to. And that's Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah. He is that sacrificial lamb, that perfect person that could only, is the only one that could have taken all of our sins, all of your sins, all of my sins. He's the only one that could have done it. And so as we walk through this, James painted this great picture of how we worship and can other things and we put them in front of Jesus Christ. And we don't want to do that. Our worship should be pointed at Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And so if you want to know more about this, if you want the blessings that follow studying Revelation, you don't want to miss this Sunday. Looking forward to seeing you. And I just wanted to pop in and let you know what Wells Branch Community Church is doing this Easter. Uh, on April 2nd, we're going to have a Good Friday service right here in the Worship Center from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That service is going to look different than, than like your typical Sunday service that you might come to. It's going to be a come and go style service. And so you can show up at 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30. Uh, there'll be different elements within the Worship Center that you can engage with uh, kind of personally on your own. Uh, you can stay as little as you'd like or as long as you'd like, and then you can go. At, that service is meant to be more uh, reflective between you and Jesus as you reflect on the cross and what he's done for you as you prepare for Easter. On Sunday, April 4th, Easter Sunday, we're going to be having three services. The first service is going to be 7.15 a.m. at Calvary Worship Center. It's going to be an outdoor service. And so if you've been uh, coming outside for this past year, you'll know what that kind of looks like. But for those of you that might want to come to that sunrise service and haven't been outside, uh, we encourage you to bring a blanket a chair and kind of dress appropriately for whatever the weather conditions are uh, that day. Additionally to that first 7.15 a.m. service at Calvary Worship Center, we're going to have two additional services here in the Worship Center indoors. Uh, those services are going to be identical. Uh, we're going to be mask recommended for both those services and we're also uh, going to be uh, streaming both those services online for the for the crowd at home uh, if they couldn't make it in person either outside or, or indoors. And so there are multiple ways for you to engage uh, this Easter together here at Wells Branch Community Church and we're excited uh, that you're going to be a part of that with us whether it's uh, on Good Friday or outside or inside on Easter morning. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to celebrating uh, the resurrection uh, with you this Easter. On March 28th, we will have three services. We'll have an 830 service outside of Calvary Worship Center, and then our 9 and 1045 services will be uh, inside here at the Worship Center. Uh, it will also, those, both those services will be online as well. Now, for those of you who may have questions about children's ministry, the 9 a.m. service is the only service where we'll have children's ministry ages 2 to 5th grade. I'll repeat that. The 9 a.m. service not the 8.30, not the 10.45 service, but the 9 a.m. service will be the service we have our uh, children's ministry at. So make sure if you have elementary age kids or preschool kids that you bring them to the 9 a.m. service. Say it with me, 9 a.m. service. All right, looking forward to seeing you on March 28th. March 28th is a big day for us. You just heard about us adding an additional indoor worship center here at our worship center. But also that afternoon, we want to invite you out to our new future home at 2601 Brushy Creek Road. You've heard us talk about this land for a while, and we're excited to bring you guys out there again from 3 to 5 p.m. on the 28th. This is going to be a come and go prayer walk where we want you to bring your phones so that you can scan QR codes. And at those QR codes, you're going to be given prompts to Pray for where people will enter our building, where people will be worshiping, where kids can go and play. And to be able to pray over all of these areas and begin to bless that place. We are so excited to have you guys there and look forward to seeing you.